The first thing, number one thing that's going to matter above anything else are your comps. You need good comps. Let's wholesale real estate. We're going to wholesale real estate. If you want to wholesale real estate, then you are in the right place. You don't need no money. You don't need no credit. It's so simple that anyone can get it. Luke's going to teach you just how to get started. All you have to do is learn and apply it. You are in the right place. You're gonna wholesale real estate. You're gonna wholesale real estate. So let's get started. What's going on, guys? It is your host, Luke Medeiros, and welcome to another episode of School of Wholesaling. I am your host, and I am here to talk to you guys about wholesaling real estate. If for those of you who don't know me, I'm young. I'm 27 years old and I found my dream. I realized my dream through the power of real estate investing and most importantly through the power of the niche wholesaling, which literally requires no money out of pocket or credit in order to buy property and make a profit as a real estate investor. Guys, welcome to the show. If, you, if today is your first day listening to the show, welcome. I welcome you. Subscribe right now, though. I do want to let you know to do that because you don't want to miss any piece of information that I I'm willing to give to you guys away because I want to see you guys be successful as well. All right. So for those of you who do know me and you haven't subscribed yet, why haven't you done that? Come on, you know, subscribe right now. I want to give you guys more. And I just want to say this too, guys. If you guys haven't already booked a call with me at chatwithluke.com and talked with me personally one-on-one, -on -one, I actually call you on my phone. Go ahead and take advantage of that, guys. I actually just opened up my bookings uh, even more to take more phone calls on the day-to-day. -day. So guys, take advantage of that. And I'll be more than happy to speak with you, get to know why you want to get started, where you are, and how I can help you on that free 30-minute call. Call. chat with luc.com so the reason for this episode today i was uh, submitted a question from alicia in regards to how to calculate arv okay how do you calculate arv this question is from alicia she submitted to me on my facebook uh, thank you for the question alicia uh, welcome to the show thank you so much for being a listener i'm going to answer your question right now so how do you calculate arv the first thing, number one thing that's going to matter above anything else are your comps. You need good comps, okay? Everything revolves around the comps. The comps in, in, in the neighborhood of the property or in the uh, 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 or the community of the property is exactly how you're going to determine what your property is going to sell for when it is ready to be sold on the market. So ARV, for those of you who are new to this and don't know what ARV is, ARV stands for after repair value. It is the value of the property once the property is repaired and it's at its tip top shape and it goes on the market and it sells. It's that price that the property can sell for in its best shape. So that's ARV. And the only way to, to, to come up with your ARV and to calculate that is to look at what has recently sold that is at its tip top shape. All right. Preferably renovated homes. So you're looking for those high comps, guys. You're looking for high comps. All right. That have sold on the market preferably ones that were renovated by flippers. Uh, and this is really good for two reasons. For one, you know that uh, when you see a house that has been sold on the market and it's been renovated by a flipper, by an investor, you know, for one, investors are investing in that area. So that's a good area that you're in. For two, the next thing that you're going to learn as well from this information, from knowing that the uh, that the house sold was, was flipped, uh, is that you can actually look up the records for that property on the county records, find out who the buyer is, and now you have a new buyer's buyer to add to your buyer list that buys in your neighborhood. Neighborhood, preferably one that could possibly buy the house that you are looking at right now okay another thing too third thing I want to mention as well guys you want to make sure that preferably you're looking at houses that are selling on the market why because that is where your investor is going to sell their property flippers are selling on the market because they want to get the top value so it's important that you find MLS comps guys and you can find this these types of comps utilizing Zillow.com looking at recently sold um, looking at what's active on Zillow.com actually here's something you guys can use you guys can go to uh, you guys can go to uh, getmlscomps.com all right download prop stream go to getmlscomps.com download it and you can actually find MLS comps even without an MLS license guys so go ahead go to that website so you can get access to that tool so you can find some accurate comps that were on the MLS that you can utilize to find your ARV so now that you found your comps by the way 
When you're looking at your comps, you want to look at apples to apples, meaning you want to get as close as possible to your subject property when you are looking for these comparables. So if you have a house that's a three bedroom, you wanna look close to three bedrooms. If you have a house that has two bedrooms, you wanna get close to two bedrooms. If it's 1,500 square feet, you wanna be plus or minus 200 square feet uh, from your target property. So if it's 1,500 square feet, maybe you wanna look up to from uh, 1,300 square feet to 1,700 square feet so you have that range, okay? So you wanna get as close as possible, even down to the area, even down to the distance that you're looking for comps, guys. You wanna look as far out as half a mile, okay? You don't wanna look too far. You don't wanna look too, uh, uh, too far away from your subject property because in different neighborhoods, in different subdivisions, uh, the, the prices, the values, the houses, everything could be different. So preferably you want to look in the same subdivision, but if you don't have that luxury of having a lot of a lot of comps in that one subdivision, then you want to kind of spread out, but don't go further than half a mile, guys. All right, so very, very, very important to know apples to apples, get you the highest comps that you can get. Uh, make sure that also that you're looking at uh, comps of properties that are flipped, comps of properties that are renovated, they're at their tip top shape, and you're looking at apples to apples, grab the top three to five comps, guys, get, grab the, the top three to five comps, and then you get the average of the sale, the sales price, collect, calculate the average of the sales price, subtract it by 10% just for a little bit of extra headroom for you and your numbers, all right, and then you've got your ARV. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it, guys. Very, very simple, very, very sweet. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do for you guys, if you guys want a visual of this, I'm gonna record, uh, I'm gonna put up a video on YouTube of how to actually look up comps utilizing PropStream that you can get access to going to getmlscomps.com. That is get, G-E-T, M-L-S, Dot com and you can get access to that software guys I'm actually gonna do a video on it and I'll share it with you on YouTube to show you exactly how to go through this process and find your ARV so that's it for today's show guys if you guys enjoyed this show please leave a uh, 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 leave a subscribe like okay and share this episode today so others can benefit from this information oh before I let you guys go today, I also want to mention, again, we are having another wine tasting for real estate meetup, guys, here in downtown Orlando. If you want to be a part of that, it's going to be February 12th at 6 p.m. here in Orlando, Florida, guys. So I encourage you to join. You can go to meetup.com and just simply type in School of Wholesaling, and you will find it, guys. You'll find the group, and you'll also find uh, the wine tasting meetup. And if you also want to be a part of the family, guys, online, I have a public Facebook group for everybody. I want you to join. I want you guys to join. I want you guys to ask questions in this Facebook group. I want you guys to stay up to date with what's going on. And I want to be able to have another platform to give you guys even more value. So if you want to be a part of that family, guys, see other people that are doing deals. By the way, congratulations to William Brobeck on his on, on his ninth deal, guys. He is crushing it. He started off listening to this podcast. And I just want to take a moment by just like just a moment right now to just say how grateful I am to even be giving you guys this information and to see someone be successful just from listening to this podcast. Guys, it's real. I'm going to actually bring on William Brobeck onto this podcast episode. We're going to talk about how he scored his deals, uh, you know, how he was able to make it happen. And I want to share that success story with you guys because I want everybody to see that anybody could do this if you put your mind to it. All right, guys. So that's it for today's show. I will see you guys next time and let's wholesale real estate.